Well, good morning from Studio 57 here in New York City. I'm Anne Marie Green. I'm Vladimir Dutit. Here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. Former President Donald Trump says he is not opposed to the release of search warrant documents the Justice Department requested. In fact, he encourages it. We're also learning more about what's inside those documents. Details ahead. And House lawmakers are returning to Washington today to vote on the sweeping $750 billion climate and health care spending bill. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is confident it will pass and we'll bring you that live when it happens. Plus new COVID guidance from the CDC. Those who are unvaccinated no longer have to quarantine after exposure to the virus. A full update about the agency's change in direction. Plus, we'll discuss the fate of one of the former Louisville, Kentucky police officers charged in connection with the death of Breonna Taylor. Kelly Goodlett is accused of conspiring with another officer to falsify the warrant in this case and filing a false report to cover it up. And big savings for weary air travelers. Prices for plane tickets fell nearly 8% last month. Our Chris Van Cleve lets us know what's behind the decrease in the cost of those flights. Looking forward to that because... Uh, you want to prices, get out of here. Uh, yeah, and they have, <laughs> prices are out of control. Prices are out of control. Uh, all right, former President Donald Trump is encouraging the immediate release of the warrant the FBI used to search his home earlier this week. Note that we said encouraging. There's a formal process that has to happen before those documents are released. You know, I have questions because I, I think that he can release it. So we're going to ask Jeff Begay's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's going to be joining us because yesterday 